Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Avery and today I'm going to be giving you some age gap romance recommendations. <laughs> So these are all romance books that have an age gap in them that I really enjoy. I'm only going to be talking about 10 today. I have more than 10 that I've read, but I just want to keep this list as short as possible. And then maybe if y'all are interested, I could do another age gap romance recommendation video for you. So we're going to just jump right on in. I know that possibly a few of these you're going to probably already know um, if you're into age gaps, um, but hopefully there are a couple here that you've never heard of before. So the first one that I have is a lot that a bunch of people probably don't know is an age gap romance, and that is Entreat Me by Grace Straven. This is a Beauty and the Beast retelling, and it is a fantasy book. Now, this book is about Ballard or Ballard, Ballard. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce his name. And then Lou. Lou is actually a widow and um, she has a younger sister and her younger sister has been courted for a while by this young man. Nobody knows where this young man comes from or where his wealth comes from. They just know that he's rich and he comes from a distant land, but nobody knows anything about his past. And so Lou is very skeptical and nervous about her going to be and be with him and marry him because they don't know anything about him. But then there is kind of like an evil guy, <laughs> kind of like the Gaston. The book starts out with him blackmailing Lou and her father into making him marry her sister. And so the sister hears about this and runs off with this love of hers to his land, not knowing where the land is. And Lou chases after her. And little does she know that this man is from a cursed castle where his cursed father lives. And so it's a romance between Lou and this cursed father. Ballard is his name and he was cursed when his son was born by his wife and his, there was an arranged marriage and his wife hated him. And so on her dying breath, she ended up cursing him um, to be a beast, essentially. I believe the curse is like, they have to find true love for both of the, um, men like the son and the father because she also put a curse on the son when he was born um, just spite him it was bad there's a romance between Lou and Ballard and there's an age gap there and I really liked this one and I find it highly entertaining if you're into Beauty and the Beast your tellings I really recommend this one it's one of my favorites of all time then we have a very beloved age gap romance in the book world we have a Nordic King by Karina Halley this is also a royalty romance and a nanny romance I love both of those things. So that's another thing that I really love about this story. So this is about the King of Denmark who is a widow and he has two, I believe twin girls. I believe they're twins and he needs a nanny. This girl, our main character, woman, um, she is quite young. I believe she's maybe 10 years younger than him or even more. I don't remember the specific ages for these books, by the way. I just know that they are age gap romances. She uh, applies to be the nanny for this family, for this royal family. He takes one look at her and says no, because he is really attracted to her and he doesn't want to feel that way about his nanny. But then his daughters end up seeing her and fall in love with her and so he has to hire her because his daughters love her so much um and it is a romance between the two of them and he's very reluctant to it obviously and he has a lot of baggage and past things going on i really like this series but this one is definitely my favorite out of the series and you don't need to read them in order by the way they don't affiliate with each other like at all but um i really love this romance so yeah. Then we have Royally Endowed by Emma Chase. This is book number three in the Royally series. These are all companion royalty books that I love. I love this series so much. Now this one is about the sister to the woman who was our main character in book one. And so our heroine in book three, this one Royally Endowed, was in the first book, but she was, I believe, in high school or college. And so this is a romance between one of the bodyguards um, that was in the prince's bodyguards essentially uh, from book one. So they met in book one and he was tasked to guarding her sometimes. And so um, there's an age gap there because he was her bodyguard in the past and he's still um, in book three is a little, I think he's still body, a bodyguard for her. I don't really remember. And so our hero in this story is very reluctant to have these feelings that he's having for this young woman because she is so much younger than him. She has had a crush on him this whole time. She had a crush on him when he was her bodyguard in the past. Um, and she has really liked him ever since. And I think they've grown as friends. And then he suddenly started to see her more as more than just a friend. And so I really liked that. I really loved how she shows him that age is just a number that he can love her. And it's okay if he loves her, she's just younger than him and that's okay. And so I really liked that. And so I, if you want a bodyguard romance, please pick this one up. Then we have probably the most popular from this list. We have Birthday Girl by Penelope Douglas. This one is about our main character, 
a woman. Um, I believe she is 19, I think. Um, and she moves in, she lives with her boyfriend and they have to move out because he wasn't paying rent or anything and they couldn't afford it anymore. And her boyfriend is a piece of crap. He is horrible. And they move in with his dad named Pike. So Pike actually, I believe was a teen dad, if I'm not mistaken. And so he's quite young compared to other dads around their age. And so they end up living with him and it is actually romance between the main character woman and her boyfriend's dad. Um, there's no cheating in here at all and the boyfriend is an absolute piece of crap. So just think about that. There's no cheating in this one. There's obviously an age gap in here because this is her boyfriend's dad. <laughs> there's an obvious reason why everybody loves this book so much. It is really well written. It is so steamy and it will just suck you in. So if you have not read this book yet, please do. It is probably the most popular age gap romance there is out in the romance world. Next we have Fire in You by Jennifer L. Armantrout. This is a romance between Jillian and and Brock. I believe Brock is a famous MMA fighter and Jillian is the daughter to his manager, I'm pretty sure, or his trainer. Jillian had always had a crush on Brock growing up. Like when she was a teenager, Brock um, obviously worked with her dad and she crushed on him all the time, had a huge childhood crush on him, but he is way older than her. And so something happened, um, I think when she was still a teenager, it completely broke her heart. And then, I, can't, I don't wanna spoil it for you. Uh, and then this book takes place six years later and she doesn't think she'll ever see Brock again but she ends up taking a job at her dad's company and she ends up having to see him all over again and have those feelings all over again and so Brock has only ever seen this woman as like a kid friend and then um, he sees her six years later after they've seen each other last time and he can't help but become like really close friends with her and then de it develops into something more and I really liked this one this one is probably my favorite out of the um, I think it's the wait for you series uh, yeah, number six in the Wait For You series. This one has nothing to do with any of the other books. I don't know why it's a part of a series. Just please read this one by itself or read all of them, but this one is probably my favorite with book one in the series. It's also kind of like a workplace romance too, if you're into that trope as well. So um, it just has, this is just an amazing read overall. Then we have That Kind of Guy by Talia Hibbert, which is so good. This is an age gap romance where the woman is older. So our main character woman, her name is Ray. And I think the other main character, his name is Zach. Possibly, I think it's Zach. Let's go with Zach. If it's not Zach, I'm sorry. So this is a romance between the two of them and she is older than him, but they are in a same friend group and you meet that friend group in the first two books in this Raven's Wood series that this book is in. Our hero in here is actually figuring out that he is also demisexual, so there's that aspect to the book. So this is a friends to lovers, fake dating, age gap romance. So there's a bunch of different tropes in here. So our main character, Ray, she has to go to this writer's um, soiree thing, kind of like a reunion. And her ex-husband is going to be there with his new wife. And so Zach is like, I'll be your date and we'll pretend to date to make him jealous or just to show him how much you've moved on because she doesn't want him back. She just wants to show him that she doesn't need her ex-husband anymore. And so he is her fake date there. And it is friends to lovers because they're really close friends. And um, if you know what demisexual means, they obviously have a friends to lovers romance. There's a little bit talk about the age gap in this book because Zach does not care at all that she is older than him. And she's like so distraught. She's like, I'm older than you. This could never work. And he's like, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> and so I really liked um, how much he like stood up for wanting to be with this woman even though she's older than him and he's like I don't care if you're older than me I like you and so I loved that and this woman in this book also has my own chronic illness so that's why I love this book so much and I love to talk about chronic illnesses in here Talia Hibbert is just an amazing writer who writes such diverse books and I absolutely adored this one then we have Welcome to the Dark Side by Gianna Darling Another one that people absolutely love, and this one is huge age gap. It's more than 10 years. This is a romance between Zeus and Lou, and they met when Lou was 10, I want to say, maybe 10 years old. I don't remember, maybe younger. But Zeus ended up saving her from being shot, but he ended up committing a crime by doing that. And so Zeus has to go to jail, and so Zeus and Lou end up being pen pals throughout the years that he's in jail, and he ends up getting out of jail, and Lou wants him. Lou is determined to have Zeus now. I think she's like 18 um, when he finally gets out of jail and he does not want to do that at all. He's like, you are so young. My kids are your age. One of my kids is older than you. Like that's so wrong, but he can't help but become immediately attracted to her and just 
infatuated by this woman even when he does not want to. This is also a motorcycle club romance. He is the leader of a motorcycle club and this is just so taboo. A huge age gap here and it was honestly so steamy, so great. So I totally obviously recommend this one. <laughs> then we have It Ain't Me Babe by Tilly Cole. I don't necessarily remember the exact age difference between the two of them but there is an age difference. I believe it's underneath 10 years but there's still an age difference there. This is about Styx and Salome. This book starts out with them being younger. I think she's like eight and he's like 13 maybe? Possibly? I don't really remember, but they're around those ages. Styx is walking through the woods one day with his dad. He loses his dad, but he ends up across this chain link fence and sees this girl crying behind the chain link fence. Styx has always had a severe stutter ever since he was born. Um, he's only been able to talk, actually use his voice in front of his dad and his best friend and with other people he uses ASL. But he finds, when he finds this little girl, he realizes he can actually talk to her and he finds another person that he is comfortable talking around. And then something happens where they're pushed apart and um, basically never see each other again until one day, years later, he finds a bloodied girl um, behind his motorcycle club. He is now the leader of a motorcycle club. And this woman may or may not be grown up Salome and she may or may not have escaped uh, the cult that she was in that was behind that fence. This is a great romance. Um, there's a bunch of trigger warnings in here. Please look into those. <laughs> uh, this is definitely a darker romance, but the age difference in here wasn't really talked about all that much. So if you're looking for something that talks about the age difference a little bit more, I don't know if this one would be it for you. There is an age difference, but ne neither of the characters care at all. So if you want something like that, definitely go with this one. Then we have Sweet Temptation by Cora Riley. This is an age gap mafia book. Now this one is really good. I know that a lot of people I've realized don't love this book as much as I do, but I like it a lot. So this one is a mafia book. As I said before, our hero, I think is in his thirties and our heroine is just turning 18 and they have to get in an arranged marriage because our hero's wife has recently died and he needs a mother for his two children. So our heroine becomes his wife and basically just his wife to take care of his kids. And so it's a romance between the two of them, even though he does not want to fall in love with his wife because of his horrible past and he has baggage with his past when it comes to love and everything. But our heroine can't help but fall in love with his kids and then eventually him. And he is very taken aback that he can feel these feelings for an 18 year old. I really like this one and I really love how mature our heroine was for her age for being 18. I totally recommend this one if you're looking for a low key mafia book. Mafia isn't talked about a lot in here but I really enjoyed that part of it. Lastly, I'm going to be talking about The King's Spinster Bride by Ruby Dixon. This is a fantasy romance age gap where the woman is older. This is also a royalty fantasy romance. So this is about our main character woman, Hala, and she used to be the princess of Yashrem, but her land was conquered by the Cyclops and they don't actually look like Cyclops. They're just people who don't have one eye and have an eye patch on. So she was 16 when her country was taken over and her father was murdered. And so the King of the Cyclops conquered this land because Hala's father kidnapped the Cyclops King's son, Mathior, who was only, I believe six or eight at the time. Hala ended up protecting him while the palace was under siege. Hala is basically rewarded for not, for saving his son by just not killing her. So they exile her. So she's lived in this nunnery for the past, what, 10 years? He's now 24. Matthew is now 24. So Hala is, I believe, 32 when they are now adults. And Matthew has not stopped thinking about Hala his whole entire life. And that is his like childhood crush. And he wants her to be the queen. And so he goes and searches for her in this nunnery and proposes marriage to her and is like, I think that you are amazing and stunning and beautiful and I want you to be my wife. And she's like, I am so much older than you. What do you mean? Like you could have your run of the litter. You're a freaking king for goodness sake and you want me. And he's like, yes. <laughs> and so they have to go through these barbarian cyclops marriage customs and oh my gosh these customs so good like they have to go through three different things or three different traditions and y'all is good <laughs> it's so steamy good please read this it's very short only a hundred something pages if you want a good fantasy novella please, please read this one. Anyways, there you have it. Those are 10 age gap romance recommendations for you. I definitely have more in this category. So let me know if you want me to make a part two.
to this. Please let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to. But anyways, thank you all so, so much for watching. I will see you see you in my next one. Bye, y'all. <laughs>